the Red Raiders this evening. Your Brockton Lady Boxers come in with a record of 4-2-2, two and 1-1 two, one and one in the league. And the Barnstable Red Raiders come in at 1-5-1. One, and one. Lee Dougherty is the coach for the Red Raiders. And Admir De Silva, as always, is the coach for your Lady Boxers. Starting lineups for the Boxers, the same as last game, with the exception of Yasmina Teixeira starting in place of, excuse me, Ariana Almeida starting in place of Ari Yasmina Teixeira. As the teams get ready to take the field here, your referees for the evening are Joe Gaudet and Roger Stone. They'll be calling the action. I am Eamon Convey, as usual here for the broadcast of your Brockton Lady Boxers. Jen Caruso has continued her torrid scoring pace, adding three goals, a nice hat trick in the beginning as the long ball goes down the field, headed out by Elizabeth Buckley on the near side. And to throw the ball in for the Red Raiders is number 10, Hallie Dennis. Good defense there by Yasmina Teixeira. Elizabeth Buckley kips, kicks it up the field. Touch taken there by Izzy Woods of the Lady Red Raiders. Now the boxers have it going in the opposite direction. Jen Caruso running up the field. Good defense on the far side by the Lady Red Raiders, but the ball squirts over to Narita Montrand. Now Ari Silvia looking in the middle for Jen Caruso. And Narita Montrand able to stay in there on the ball as number four, Ariana Almeida, with a tripping call there on number 21, Maggie Murphy, senior forward for the Lady Red Raiders. We'll have a free kick here as it's kicked up the middle of the field. Ariana Almeida able to step in front of it. Gets the ball up, looking for Montrand on the near side, not to be. Maria Del Pico intercepts in the middle over to Ari Silvia. Ari Silvia over to Narita Montrand the near side. Kicks it back to her defense there. Tiana Brooks waiting patiently. And she boots it up over to the Lady Red Raiders. And back up the field is Angela McLeod, senior defenseman for the Lady Red Raiders. Brockton, since playing Barnstable High School last, in the first week of September, has done very well for themselves. Won three of the last five games with a loss and a tie sprinkled in there for a grand total of four, two, and two. As Narita Montron with a nice touch pass to Ari Sylvia. Back to Montron. Looking again for Sylvia. Nice two-woman game over there. Looking up the field. Jen Caruso's got a lane. Can she get there? She sneaks in front of the defender. And in the tussle, the ball is deflected to the goalkeeper, Mia Crawley. Junior for the Lady Red Raiders. And she kicks it up the field. Good move by Caruso in back. Ari Sylvia obviously looking for her as usual. Uh, but the lead ball was just a bit long although Caruso almost had a chance at it, uh, unable to corral it and get a meaningful shot on net as it is out of bounds on the far side and the Lady Red Raiders will throw it in. As I was saying, the boxers have been on a great tear at 4-2-2 two two now, 1-1 one one in the league as they continue to look for more victories here in the young season, and especially in the non-league portion, building good momentum as they go back into league play in just two weeks' time. There's a throw in on the far side. Caruso with a little header to Ariana Almeida. Gets in the middle. Del Pico steps up. Caruso back on the ball. Looking for Narita Montron. Takes a touch to the far side. Swirling around. Four Lady Red Raider defenders there. Nice moves there by Olivia Salos. Able to do a little give and go. But the ball from Caroline Young goes out of bounds. Good job swarming defensively. They... The Lady Red Raiders and Lee Doherty obviously has his team prepared for Jen Caruso, who is quite a force to be reckoned with, scoring the majority of the boxers' goals for a grand total of 17 on the season. 19 points overall as she's had two assists as well. And the Lady Red Raiders looking for some offense here on the ball defensively is Yasmina Teixeira on the near side being chased down by Maggie Murphy. Gets the ball out to Narita Montrand. Uses her hand. Thankfully, she was out of bounds there. Now a throw in on the near sides for Hallie Dennis as Brockton swarms defensively. In the middle there for the boxers is Tiana Brooks. And it gets out to about the 30-yard line. And Izzy Woods takes a rip. That'll be, uh, that'll be a save for Tori Viola, though it wasn't 
nearly close enough to the net to score 35 minutes and change remaining in the first half here as the ball squirts over to the Lady Red Raiders. Ariana Almeida, excuse me, Yasmina Teixeira on the near side. Running up the field and tapes, taps safely out of bounds there by Lauren Lee. Gets the ball into Jen Caruso. Lee defensively. And she gets the ball up the near sidelines as there's a good clear there by Maggie Murphy. Elizabeth Buckley defensively for the boxers. Kicks it just past assistant coach Laborio Alfama with a little smile on his face. He ducks out of the way. And no harm, no foul. And there'll be a throw in. Nice assist from the young ball girl there. A couple of young ball girls here today. And there's the throw in on the near sides. And good job by Elizabeth Buckley to get over there as the ball goes over the fence and actually careens off the stands here on the near side out of view. And a Barnstable, what appears to be young football player over there to help out. So there's a throw in on the near side. Hallie Dennis looks inside for Maggie Murphy. Turning with the ball, Narita Montrand and other the others there defensively. And kicked out of bounds for a goal kick by Tiana Brooks. Not quite sure about that move. And Tori Viola will get her defense set for this corner kick. Tori Viola was the first Brockton Lady Boxers player out here this afternoon, approximately 4.30 p.m., working on something that her and Admir De Silva had a somewhat heated discussion about last week, and that was her goal kicking. As there's a play right into the middle there, and it's going to be whistled off sides. As Maggie Murphy had a nice chance in the middle, Tori Viola was there. But eventually, she was able to get to it, and there was an offsides call, so it's going to be uh, what amounts to a goal kick in the middle there. And interestingly enough, Tori Viola not taking the goal kick, despite working on it. This evening, high arcing ball towards Viola, and good job to corral it as bearing down on her for the Red Raiders was Caroline Young. Good poise play and a nice, a nice goal kick there. So obviously the practice is paying off. The Lady Red Raiders are able to get a touch here, but Brockton swarms defensively. And back on the ball is Janae Silva. And out on the far side now, Laura Andretti. Booted out by Elizabeth Buckley. So Tori Viola and Admir De Silva were having a somewhat heated discussion about her goal kick, and she was out here early. That's what you like to see from a freshman, learning that practice early and often is going to get you what you want. Narita Montron with a little run here, and good job by the keeper to step up. Narita Montron took a pretty hard hit from the keeper, Mia Crawley, over there. Aggressive play by the keeper. If you're Lee Doherty, you like to see that. She's a junior in net. She's likely seen her fair share of Goal scores in her day. Not quite sure she's seen one like Jen Caruso, who's been quiet this evening thus far. And there's a throw in on the far sides for the Lady Red Raiders. Fielding it is Olivia Solos. Looking up the field for Maggie Murphy, unable to get it there. Yasmina Teixeira and Ari Silvia hawking the ball defensively in their offensive end. And the ball is out. Red Raiders showing some good speed here. Not necessarily being able to get in behind this quick Brockton team, but certainly keeping up with them to some degree. And, and, and I think especially on the wings, there looks like there may be some space that the Red Raiders can exploit, unlike what West Bridgewater did against the Boxers, which was to pack it in and really allow running lanes on the outsides and trying to pack up the middle, but falling asleep on certain plays and allowing Jen Caruso and Maria Del Pico to score goals to the tune of four to one. As the ball goes off Caruso on the far sidelines, throwing it in is Shea McCurdy. And that's gonna be a handball called on Ariana Almeida. Very slight, but good eye by the referee down there. That would be Mr. Roger Stone. Good call on that. As the kick goes in for the Red Raiders. And it trickles over to Tori Viola, who corrals it safely. This is eerily reminiscent of the game a few days ago against West Bridgewater, where Tori Viola was unblemished early, but did end up giving a goal, conceding a goal, rather, in the second half on what was a very nice shot. To her credit, I don't think Viola had a chance. She made a good effort at it but it was a wonderful shot by the West Bridgewater forward. 
And now Elizabeth Buckley boots it up the middle of the field. Caruso there, but no one there to help. Her and the Brockton Lady Boxers as Narita Mantra now lobbing a ball at the middle of the field. Jen Caruso trying to use her body. Good defense there by Angela McLeod on the back end. Not allowing Caruso to shield her off from the ball as the ball is booted down the field. Going after it is Narita Mantra and others. Kicking the ball up the far side. Waiting there for the Boxers was... Shanae Silva, Narita Mantra, now through the middle. Tries a little stop and go move, and the ball is picked off by the Lady Red Raiders and sent up to about midfield where Yasmina Teixeira corrals it and will now throw it in. Looking for Mantra there defensively is Maggie Murphy. Gets it up to Caroline Young and booted back down the field by Tiana Brooks. Going after the ball is Janae Silva with Shea McCurdy. In tow, Shanae Silva able to get the ball past. Nice little touch to the middle of the field. Looking for Ari Silvia, who takes a long shot. And that is safely corralled by Mia Crawley. Appeared as though that may have had a little more steam on it than it ended up. Not much wind out here this evening, so I doubt very much that that was a factor. Perhaps the shot was just a little bit farther out than Silvia was used to. And she's back on the ball offensively for the Brockton Boxers. Hustling up to Reader Montron. Looking up the middle of the field. Has Caruso down the near sidelines. And good defense there by the Lady Red Raiders. And able to get it out for a throw. And really tremendous play there by Morgan Richard. Senior defensewoman for the Lady Red Raiders. Using her speed and footwork to get in front of Caruso down the near sideline. Shields her off from the goal. And gets the ball out of bounds for a throw in. As there's a little confusion with the... Young ball keeper, perhaps one of the perils of having such little ones do that work. In any case, the ball's back in. Arita Montron gets it into Yasmina Teixeira. And booted out of bounds on the near sidelines by Maggie Murphy. It'll be another throw in for the boxers. Maria Del Pico actually scored the, the goal last week. The fourth goal for the Brockton Boxers, and interestingly enough, she was wearing Ariana Almeida's jersey. She got bopped in the nose, and there was a little blood, as here's a shot by Ari Silvia that rolls out of bounds. There was a little blood on her jersey, and to be safe, switch jerseys with Ariana Almeida, who was done for the evening, and scored the goal, causing quite a bit of confusion for myself and the public address announcer for the game on Tuesday against West Bridgewater. As there's a nice... Goal kick there up to about the 37-yard line for the Lady Red Raiders. Yasmina Teixeira over to Montron. Maggie Murphy there defensively. Montron choosing to go back to the defense. Buckley waiting for it. Two Lady Red Raiders were pursuing her, and she gets it up to Almeida, who's over to Del Pico. Goal scorer from last week, wearing her original number 21. Over to Jen Caruso on the far sidelines as the Red Raiders jump in front of her. Ariana Almeida will have the ball for a throw in on the far sidelines, about the 20 yard line. 27 minutes left here in the second half. Into Caruso, working along the far sidelines, and good defense there by Shea McCurdy once again. Playing Caruso very tight. And it will be a corner kick for the Boxers. Although Jen Caruso has been doing the majority of the scoring for the team this year, she has been getting one or two goals in it seems almost every game with the exception of their loss and the 0-0 tie away at New Bedford in which she was double and triple teamed most of the game. She's been getting good assistance in terms of scoring from the rest of her teammates and that is an encouraging sign for Admir De Silva. Yeah, when you have a talent as good as Caruso it's easy to become complacent if you're her teammates and sort of just give her the ball. Credit the Lady Boxers for continuing to be hungry, continuing to play for themselves and for each other. As there's an open run here for Caroline Young, and she's going to take a long shot. And I don't know if she's read the scouting report on Tori Viola yet, but this freshman keeper is quite something formidable in net for the Lady Boxers, and she makes the easy save there. Running up the back side of that play was Marco Rice, who scored a goal in the most recent game for the Barnstable Lady Red Raiders. As Caruso down the far sidelines, looking to the middle. 
Good defense there by the Lady Red Raiders. And now it's taken by Shanae Silva. She's swarmed under Montron in the middle of everything as usual. Nice touch to Ari Silvia, who attempted to take a pass and the ball to flex down the near sidelines to Yasmina Teixeira, who looks back up the field. And this ball is going to stay in bounds. Maggie Murphy is going to play it. And taking a nice aggressive run at the ball there was Caroline Young. And playing it, shielding her off from that, rather, is Tiana Brooks, who will now have the throw in. In front of Coach Admir De Silva with a lofty throw in there that was attempted to be kicked out by Hallie Dennis, and Ari, Ari Silvia stepped in front of it. Now up the far sidelines, looking for Janae Silva, was Maria Del Pico. Silva able to catch up to the ball, stops it, and then comes back to it, runs around, looking towards the middle for Caruso, tries to take a touch. Pass was a little bit behind her. And coming out of it with a shot is Ariana Almeida with an easy save for Mia Crawley. Just under 25 remaining in the first half here at Colombo Field inside Marciano Stadium in Brockton, Massachusetts, where the score is 0-0. Zero -zero. Yeah, both teams have looked good this evening. No real exciting chances thus far for either team, but working well offensively and both teams packing it in defensively so as to not allow an easy goal here in the first half. Both keepers not too busy thus far. Most of the play has taken place in the middle of the field as the ball is now, Maria Del Pico. And it's kicked back out of bounds by Izzy Woods, the freshman midfielder for Barnstable. On the far sidelines, the boxers throw it in. And heading the ball there is Olivia Salos. And it's now booted back up the field as they're sort of kicking the ball around here. Barnstable looking to get the ball advanced over the half field line. They do that. They're waiting for it as Maggie Murphy defensively as Maria Del Pico with a great play on Olivia Salos over to Ari Silvia. A little tap off the defender there. Stop and go has Del Pico in the middle of the field. Ever present Jen Caruso lurking in the middle far sidelines. Always looking for a ball. Looking for a touch to put her on the scoring drive. And Barnstable does a good job defensively to get the ball and control it. Maria Del Pico stepping up on the ball. Janae Silva now on the far sidelines. Taps it back to Lyra Andretti. Over there on the far sidelines, Shea McCurdy for the Lady Red Raiders. And booted up the field now, Ariana Almeida. In the middle of the field. For the Red Raiders is Maggie Murphy. Maria Del Pico there playing very aggressively with Olivia Salos. Give the Lady Red Raiders credit. They know this Brockton team is physical, and so far they've been willing to play the physical game with them as there's a beautiful boot up the field. Oh, and the ball just trickles wide. Jen Caruso running up aggressively on the goaltender. What a boot there by Ariane Almeida. Would have been a beautiful 50-yard assist. And the ball deflects off the keeper after Caruso attempted to corral the high bounce and rolls away wide for a Brockton corner. Over on the far side is Narita Montron to inbound the ball. Towards the middle of the field and the keeper and Caruso Looking to get her head on it. It's up in front of the keeper, but just a touch too late on that ball. Mia Crawley is able to grab it and keep it out of harm's way. As the ball shark, Jen Caruso, was looking to add to her 17 goals on this young season. As it's kicked up the field, the Lady Red Raiders defensively looking for the ball. Izzy Woods there. Caruso steals it from her. Nice touch pass to Ari Silvia. Another touch to Narita Montrand and Ari Silvia with a nice touch to the near side. And defensively for the Lady Red Raiders, sort of taking her time to get the ball out of bounds was Morgan Richard. Smart play to her credit. 21 and a half minutes remain in this first half. Yasmina Teixeira on the near sides here with a throw in. Narita Montrand gets the ball in. She's looking towards the middle of the field. Jen Caruso looking for a one-time shot. Janae Silva tracking the rebound, but unable to corral it. And there is Olivia Salos yet again with Del Pico draped all over her, as she has been much of the game. Ari Silvia with the ball now. Tapped lightly out of bounds by the Lady Red Raiders. Smart play. They're keeping the, way, the ball away from Brockton 
and good scoring chances and not allowing them to capitalize on the shots that they have taken and forcing them to take harder shots than they undoubtedly would like to. Lara Andretti on the far sidelines and it's knocked out of bounds there by Ariana Almeida. As we have a sub here for the Lady Red Raiders coming onto the field is Aislinn Hempstead replacing one of the defenders correction one of the forwards for the lady red raiders who looks as though she got knocked down although in good spirits having a laugh about it with the coach and that was coming off the field olivia solos whose name has been mentioned quite a few times already early in this evening 20 minutes remain in the second half playing hard out there playing a physical game and getting a nice break from her coach and a Pat on the back as there's a short throw in on the far sidelines. Over there playing aggressively. <laughs> and that was a pretty funny moment. The little ball girl didn't know what to do. She had one ball in her hands and another one bouncing high over her head, but looking like it might hit her. And she sort of just ducked out of the way. Good for her. As the Lady Red Raiders are going to have a throw in here on the far sidelines right about the 20 seven yard line what about the 20 yeah, 29 yard line we'll call it as there's a header up the field by marco rice it's been relatively quiet tonight despite being one of the top scorers on this lady red raider team boy this is uncharacteristic for brockton they are used to scoring early in games and so far we have gone 21 minutes without a tally by either side Undoubtedly, Admir De Silva will make some adjustments here at halftime. Come in with perhaps a more aggressive game plan to try and get on the board and push the scoring a bit more. Nice throw in there on the far sideline by Lara Andretti as she boots it up the field. Waiting there for the Red Raiders is Maggie Murphy taken by Narita Montron. Gotten up the field, Jen Caruso coming back the far sidelines, signaling Yasmina Teixeira to run down the sidelines. Maria Del Pico takes a touch, gets over to Teixeira in the middle to Ari Silvia, who is playing the ball quite aggressively tonight. And nice boot up the field for Ariana Almeida. Caruso getting in there. And boy, nice aggressive play there by Mia Crawley. She ran out from her crease in order to get that ball using the entire goalkeeper's box effectively on that particular play. As the ball's back in the Brockton boxer's end and Elizabeth Buckley kicks it out of bounds, having Caroline Young draped on her back. It'll be a throw in here. And for the Red Raiders, it's going to be Hallie Dennis. As Ariana Almeida lets the ball go by her and thank goodness for her behind the play. Coming in was Lara Andretti. This ball squirts over to Buckley and she kicks it out of the defensive end. Boy, nice hard hit on the sidelines there. Laura, Lara Andretti take, reaching down to inspect, perhaps rub her right ankle. Don't know if she twisted it there, checking her elbows. That turf certainly will give you a burn. I remember playing back in peewee football. You fall on that surface going any sort of speed and you're going to end up with some rubber bits in your arm. Not a fun experience, but a fact of playing on turf. At least you're not getting soaked with mud and playing in inch deep water. That's that's the trade off there. As Ari Sylvia has the ball in the middle, looking for Jen Caruso and Arita Mantra making a nice run up the middle of the field. Takes a touch there. Going to the far side. Has Caruso streaking back. Chooses Sylvia on the outside. Cross to the middle looking for Caruso. Nice touch and a great save there by the goalkeeper, Mia Crawley. And getting mixed up in the play a little bit was Caruso, and she takes a tumble over the goalkeeper. Boy, two good goalies on display tonight. The junior for Barnstable, Mia Crawley, and of course the freshman sensation for Brockton High, Tori Viola. That was the best save of the evening so far, and clearly the best scoring chance that either team has had. And of course it came off the foot of Jen Caruso as Ariana Almeida gets the ball off the field, waiting defensively is Morgan Richard. 
with Jen Caruso bearing down on her, chooses to simply kick the ball out of bounds. Mia Crawley, interestingly enough, scored her first shutout just 12 days ago against Dennis Yarmouth, making a number of saves in the game. So clearly she has come to play this evening and her season stats back up the display that she is putting on right now. As things are getting a little chippy here, just 15 and a half minutes left in the second half. And Brockton and Barnstable getting a little frustrated at the lack of scoring on both sides undoubtedly as we have another substitution for Barnstable coming into the game is Caitlin Auer. As all the subs wear yellow pennies for the Barnstable ladies and they pass them off as they come in undoubtedly to ensure that it is an even transaction as far as substitutions go. Maria Del Pico on the far side with the ball. Gets it up to Ari Silvia. Nice little in and out move. Chooses to go over back to the near side. Narita Montrand with Yasmina Teixeira in help defense and playing the ball well. Hallie Dennis, she'll throw it in where Teixeira's waiting. And Maggie Murphy with a big boot up the near sidelines. Elizabeth Buckley chooses to get it out around the 50 yard line. And nice leaping play there by Roger Stone to get out of the way of the ball. One of our two referees on the evening. Throw in there by Hallie Dennis. Attempted pass was going to Aislinn Hempstead. First time we've called her name since the substitution. 14 minutes here in the second half as Tori Viola fields an easy bouncing ball. She looks to give a goal kick, which is uh, another low one. That was definitely a hand ball, and it took the referees a while to realize what they had just seen. And... Oh, Roger, that's he. It looks as though he's warned Mr. Admir De Silva, coach of the Brockton Boxers. Apparently, he was quicker on the call than the referee was. Much to his disappreciation, just under 14 minutes and counting. Here left in the first half as Ariana Almeida will have the kick from about the 35 yard line on the far side, looking in. There defensively is number 13, Lauren Lee. Maria Del Pico swarming the ball, as is Ari Silvia, looking back to Ariana Almeida. In a play that they've used a lot, using her leg to try and set up air through balls down the field. Has worked effectively, as you remember, with the Jen Caruso ball that just trickled wide. And we have a nice kick here by Mia Crawley. And on the ball defensively is Tiana Brooks. Smart play there as number 11, Molly Tilton, who has checked into the game, was hawking it. Hallie Dennis with the short throw in, intercepted by Narita Montra. Nice move by Ari Silvia, foot over the ball. Looking on the far sidelines, has Jen Caruso turning, looking for another player. She's got Michaela Robinson, who is played well by Morgan Richard. A woman who has been in on many plays this evening defensively for Barnstable. And there's a throw in there by Michaela Robinson looking for Ari Silvia. Is unable to control it. Maria Del Pico slashing in there to get the ball. Ariana Almeida sees it go off her leg. Looking down the near side. Uh, Yasmina Teixeira unable to corral it. Kicked back to her by Tiana Brooks. Has Silvia in the middle. Looking for a little give and go. Nice step up by Tiana Brooks. Looking down the far sidelines. Has Caruso right in the middle of the field. I think the boxers are going to have to get a little more intricate offensively if they're going to get Jen Caruso the lanes that she needs to score. Simply kicking it over the defense's head and having her run after it has not worked quite that well to this point in the evening. As Narita Montrand on Maggie Murphy there. Murphy passes it off as Hallie Dennis on the near side. And we're going to have a timeout here on the field as there's 11 minutes and 26 seconds left in the first half. Coaches huddling their players up. Players getting some water on the Near side left here, Lee Doherty instructing his girls. 
And Admir De Silva making some changes, it appears, with the lineup. Subbing girls in and out, talking to Nadia Cordoso. Perhaps she's about to come in. And give, give the Barnstable girls credit. You know, they've played very well to this point. Brockton is an aggressive and physical team. And so far, the Lady Red Raiders have been up to the task as the lights are on here at Colombo Field inside Marciano Stadium. Brockton Mass, 0-0 zero, zero is the score. 11-26 remaining as the referees signal. of substitutions on either side. We, I will keep you updated on them as they appear on the field. For your Brockton boxers, Nadia Cordoso does in fact come in the game. She is the one, the lone substitution for the Brockton boxers as there is a nice play there by Margo Rice trying to get the ball over to Caitlin Hauer back in the game. And there's going to be a free kick here for the Lady Red Raiders. And taking it for them will be Morgan Richard. She of the defense for the Lady Red Raiders. That's a very big leg, which she showcases on this kick. Getting it out of harm's way there was Tiana Brooks with the header. Ari Sylvia on the ball as it's given up to Lauren Lee. And Lauren looks up the field. Nadia Cardoso, Elizabeth Buckley there. Buckley boots it up the field. Kicked over to the near side is Narita Montrand. On her is Yasmina Teixeira. Nice move on the near sidelines for Hallie Dennis. Not sure it didn't go off her, but nonetheless. And in behind the defense here, and a good slide by Tori Viola. It looked as though from this angle, the ball might have trickled past her and running in on it on the in the middle of the field, rather, is Lauren Lee but unable to complete the play. Excuse me, it was Molly Tilton who was running it on Tori Viola, but again, as her counterpart Mia Crawley did just a few minutes ago, slides in and takes away the scoring opportunity. Just under 10 minutes here remaining in the first half, Narita Montrand in the middle of the field, giving go with Ari Sylvia. Montrand up the far sideline, Shanae Silva back to Montrand towards the middle of the field, running in, taking a touch. Despite two step-ups, Jen Caruso on the far sidelines with a nice shot, but fading away from the goalkeeper to the far side right, Mia Crawley was able to step to the far post and corral the ball as she boots it up the field, waiting defensively for the Brockton boxers, Lara Andretti. She takes the ball across half field, kicking it up to no one in particular. That's... Taken back by Barnstable, Maria Del Pico to Sylvia. Sylvia to Montron and back to Sylvia. Del Pico on the far sidelines. Ari Sylvia looking for Jen Caruso, sneaking inside the defense. Gets it to Mer Yasmina Teixeira instead. And it's kicked back up the field out of harm's way. Now Tiana Brooks boots it back down into the Barnstable end. Chasing after it is Caruso. It will be a throw in for the Lady Boxer star on the near side, on the far side, excuse me. Number 22 gets it in to Maria Del Pico. Del Pico trying to slip the ball behind her with a sort of back heel move and unable to do so. And it will remain Boxer's ball. And they will throw it in. 8.30 left here in the first half. Throw in on the far sidelines by Lara Andretti. Back to her and looking for Janae Silva. But stepping up there is Morgan Richard. Over to Del Pico. Now Narita Montrand on the far side for Janae Silva. Silva to Sylvia in the middle here. Ari Sylvia finding Maria Del Pico running up from behind. And decent looking shot there uh, towards the near side left post. And it just trickled wide. Mia Crawley watched it go by. There'll be a goal kick here now for Morgan Richard. Richard looking up the field, checking her options, and that ball goes errantly off the right side of her foot 
and comes to the near sidelines and it'll be a throw in for Nadia Cordoso. Cordoso gets it in, was looking for Teixeira, was not to be, but Sylvia intercepts the pass. Montrand over to Jen Caruso, has Janae Silva on the far sidelines. Takes a shot, brave defense there by Morgan Richard, stepped up and now is sort of wincing in pain as that one definitely stung. Jen Caruso has quite a leg. And Caruso sandwiched between two defenders. Ismina Teixeira over there, now Cordoso. Narita Montron, Brockton keeping the pressure in the offensive zone, really looking for a goal here. Seven minutes remaining in the second half, in the first half, excuse me. And they are trying desperately to score a goal here and take a one nothing lead at least into the break. And it will be a throw in here on the far sidelines. And that is Lara Andretti who will throw it in, finds Del Pico who, despite a good defensive play, keeps the ball, able to get it to Janae Silva, looks to the middle for Narita Montron, tries to play a back heel. Ari Silvia with a good-looking shot. Mia Crawley ends up making the e easy save. Brockton settling for outside shots when perhaps they could find different angles, specifically on the outside. Give Barnstable credit. They're packing the middle of the field defensively quite well. But Brockton needs to not settle for outside shots and continue to probe lanes on the outside and try and find a clean run at the keeper. As at half field, Maria Del Pico gets the pass from Mari Silvia. Squirts over to the Yasmina Teixeira. Nice move to the inside of the field, taking a touch. Finds Caruso, working up the far sidelines. Looking for a far shot. And not sure how close that one came to the goal, but enough so that Mia Crawley the junior goalkeeper for Barnstable did not feel the need to get a hand on it. And again, Brockton settles for an outside shot. That doesn't hit the net. And Maggie Murphy, it appears, is going to come back on the field here. Another substitution for Lee Dockerty's Barnstable Lady Red Raiders. Morgan Richard boots it up the field. Waiting there defensively was Montron. Takes a tap over her head. Now on the ball, Zari Sylvia. Clustered in the middle here. Yasmina Teixeira just out of the reach of Ari Sylvia. And now she gets the ball back. But good job backtracking defensively. Izzy Woods on the ball. And it will be a throw in just near the flag. And Nadia Cordoso is going to do the honors for the Lady Boxers. Just under five minutes remaining in the first half. Cordoso to Montron and back to her. Cordoso looking for Montron, swarmed under by three defensemen. And over Cordoso's head as Morgan Richard kicks it to the near sidelines. Brockton packing it in offensively, really looking for a goal here. Short throw into Ari Silvia. Cordoso back to the middle of the field where Maggie Murphy's able to get it. Looked like perhaps Maria Del Pico was going to be able to step in but in fact she was not and is able to actually get the ball in the end after running around Maggie Murphy. Ari Silvia boots it to the far sideline. Sinead Silva looking for Jen Caruso on the far side. And another through ball, Sinead Silva able to get a leg on it and unable to get it past the defense of Morgan Richard. Maggie Murphy going back to her defense who tries to get the ball up the field. Ari Silvia with a nice defensive play there. And Ari Silvia looking on the on the run for Jen Caruso, streaking in from the far side and out in another aggressive display there is Mia Crawley. Credit her aggressiveness in goal as the reason why the boxers have yet to score in this game. Narita Montron looking for Jen Caruso, gets it back to Caruso. Great defense there. And she keeps the ball and just spins with it and it ends up going out of bounds. Great effort on the far side by your own Jen Caruso and Angela McLeod there defensively along with Shea McCurdy for the Lady Red Raiders. Caruso with her hands on her hips, obviously doing a lot of work today, maybe a little frustrated that the goals haven't poured in like they have in other games as she hustles to get back on sides and the ball will go out. It's another boxer's throw in. Just under three minutes remaining here, running down towards the period when time is kept on the field. That will be at the two minute mark. And booted around there, Janae Silva running after it now. It's gonna be a throw in on the far sidelines. And I'll do my best here to 
time out the the stoppage time and sort of give you updates as to how long into it and such we are. That will be another 30 seconds until that happens. Ball goes in, Shanae Selva looking for it and it's gonna be a goal kick after it trickles out off of her feet. Morgan Richard here, 219 and counting. Taking her time with the goal kick. Barnstable probably quite happy to go into the break 0-0. Zero, zero. They in fact defeated the boxers in the last game that they played against one another, which sent Brockton on a pretty nice streak despite getting the loss. And we are officially into time being kept on the field. Uh, we'll give you guys updates as I remember to. And on the far sidelines, Barnesville boots it out of bounds, running towards a throw in is Lara Andretti. And she gets the ball in, looking for Janae Silva there defensively, Hallie Dennis. Dennis kicks it out and it's gonna be Lara Andretti. There again. And now they're gonna say it will be a Barnstable throw in. Interesting, not sure why the change in heart, but Shay McCurdy on the far side nonetheless for Barnstable. 35 seconds gone and kept time. Ball deflected out off of the Red Raiders' Caitlin Auer into Ari Sylvia. Nice little touch towards the middle of the field. Gets it over to Nadio Cordoso. Probably did not try to pop the ball up quite that much as we're approaching 55 seconds into field time. Janae Silva, oh, nice give and go there from Narita Montron and just out of the reach of Janae Silva on the far sidelines. That would have been a beautiful pass and she had plenty of room in front of her to make a run, but it was not to be a minute and 10 seconds into kept time as it deflects off of Margot Rice. Quiet in this game so far, thrown in. To Ari Silvia looking across the field has Nadia Cordoso there starting the attack for the boxers. One thing they need to do is space themselves better. From this angle, it is apparent that they are packing themselves in too tightly on the offensive end. Perhaps spreading out would help them to open lanes for the likes of Caruso and others to score. A minute and 43 seconds into kept time here as we're running out in the first half. And the Red Raiders trying to get the ball in for one more throw. Shea McCurdy on the far sidelines, right about the 45 yard line, set to throw the ball in. It's in, Maria Del Pico plays it. And that is going to be the end of the first half. Your score on Brockton Community Access is Boxer zero, Lady Red Raiders zero. We will be back for the second half of action in just a few minutes. Hello and welcome back to Colombo Field at Rocky Marciano Stadium in Brockton, Massachusetts where the score is 0-0. Just getting ready to begin second half action here as the Barnstable Lady Red Raiders take on your Lady Boxers. Interesting warm up for the second half by Barnstable getting in a circle and doing a little rah, rah, rah and then appearing to run some short uh, suicides, as we used to call them, where you go up and touch one line and come back and touch another and so forth. So we'll see if that has drained them of any energy as the boxers are back on the field in position. Jen Caruso talking to Rita Montrand. They give the ball off, Ari Sylvia. Looking for Megan Mulholland on the near side. First time checking in for her as the teams have switched sides. Barnstable goes right to left and Brockton left to right. Throw in on the near sidelines there for Shea McCurdy. Good defensive effort by her and Barnstable overall in the first half. Ari Sylvia takes a touch down the near sidelines. Looking up and just pushes it out of bounds for Jed Caruso. And they will try to get on the scoreboard here for the Lady Boxers in the first half as the ball is headed over by Caitlin Auer. Megan Mulholland there to deflect it and it'll be a throw in for Shea McCurdy on the near sidelines. Brockton as always taking a long time during the half to sit in a circle in front of their respective goal and talk things over. But they are back on the field here facing the Lady Red Raiders in the second half. As the ball is thrown in, Ariana Almeida does a good job to boot it out of bounds. Shea McCurdy here on the near sidelines to throw it in once again. 
Brockton defensively, Ariane Almeida there. Megan Mulholland coming back from her midfielder spot. Ari Sylvia plays it off the foot of Hizzy Woods. And throw in here, Megan Mulholland. Intercepted by Caitlin Auer. Back to Ariane Almeida, now to Mulholland. Back to Almeida and over to Ari Sylvia. Plays it back to defenseman Tiana Brooks. Looking up the far sidelines for Narita Montrand. Playing the ball there. And Hallie Dennis defensively. Montrand running up the near sidelines, cutting it towards the middle. Has two defenders. Ari Sylvia looking for a shot. Good job stepping up by Morgan Richard, but not out of harm's way yet. Ari Sylvia takes a turn. Ariane Almeida with a nice looking shot, but it kept turning left. And Mia Crawley able to make the save on the far side. Looking back up the field, Brockton continuing to take far shots from the outside. Not sure if Admir De Silva cautioned them against doing such a thing. Just under 38 minutes remaining in the second half. As Barnstable pushes the ball up the field, Molly Tilton into the game after having a nice first half. Comes out starting the second half here. And decent looking shot there behind the back of Lara Andretti. But uh, Tori Viola is able to corral it and pushes it to the near side. And running up the field now is Caitlin Auer. Elizabeth Buckley there to stop the ball from going inside. Auer and Lara Andretti still going at it. Up to Megan Mulholland. Turning up the field has Aria Sylvia down the near side. And looking up the wing for Jen Caruso. Unable to get there, Molly Richard. And kicking it out of bounds is Angela McLeod. It will be a throw in on the near sidelines for the boxers, and Ariana Almeida will take it. Into Caruso on the near side, takes a turn, and the ball just going out of bounds by Shea McCurdy. Caruso into Sylvia, shielding off the defender, Caitlin Auer, still with the ball, keeping it along the sidelines. Good touch pass through the legs of McCurdy. Just out of the reach of Caruso, unfortunately. Molly Richard corrals it and kicks it out of bounds safely for the Barnstable Lady Red Raiders. Another throw in coming here. Coming up to get it is Laura Andrade. She will throw the ball in. Open right in front of her is Jen Caruso. Taking a turn, shielding McCurdy from the ball and allowing her to kick it between her legs is Jen Caruso. Gets now marked a little more closely by McCurdy and it's kicked over to Mulholland. Maria Del Pico stepping in for the boxers as Narita Mantra in the middle of the field with a nice behind the back move there. And Angela McLeod with some good defense. Fancy footwork there by Narita Montron. These Brockton Lady Boxers are displaying the wonderful foot skills that many of them possess in allowing themselves to get a little more open space as the ball is pushed up the field. And out of her keeper position is Tori Viola with a nice kick over to Narita Montron. Playing the ball around the defense of Lauren Lee. And sliding in was Morgan Richard. The nice play on Montron, who had some space there. It's back up the field for the Lady Red Raiders. Coming through defensively is Maggie Murphy. And over here on the near sidelines, good call there by our referee, Joe Gaudet. And it will be a throw in for Lara Andretti. She looks to inbound the ball. Or Almeida waiting and kicking the ball out of harm's way is Caitlin Auer. Now inbounded to Mulholland, has Sylvia in the middle of the field, gives her a touch pass. Nice stop and go by Sylvia, looking across the far sidelines to Yasmina Teixeira, good poise here by the Lady Boxers. Getting it up to Narita Montron on the far sidelines, turns to the middle, has Sylvia, has Mulholland down the near sidelines, and just out of the reach of Megan Mulholland, unfortunately. That ball had a little too much mustard on it, and she was unable to corral it. Give the Boxers credit, doing a job of keeping the ball in the offensive zone against Bardstable as they did much of the end of the first half as rolling down towards the 34 minute remaining mark here in the second half. Up over the head of Maria Del Pico getting it as Molly Tilton. Looking down the near sidelines has Margot Rice playing a ball towards the middle for Maggie Murphy. Good job to step up there by Elizabeth Buckley. And it's played back to half field. Over to Narita Montron. Good touch pass to Ari Sylvia. Montron, timed out, run the defense. Does so. Stops on the far sidelines. 
Getting it back to the middle, good point, and that's an errant pass by Ari Silvia, but Del Pico bails her out with a nice play. Two good moves by Del Pico, and a little too much touch on the second one as she's unable to complete the third move. Ari Silvia getting it back on the attack for Brockton. Megan Mulholland on the near side. Kicks it past Caruso, who gets the ball back to her. Now to Mulholland, looking for a cross in the middle, has Yasmina Teixeira going in hot for the ball. And she is still down on the field. She went tumbling. But now she's being picked up by her teammate Caruso and showing a bit of sportsmanship there. Defenseman Iggy Izzy Woods for the Lady Red Raiders. Like to see that. And here's a big throw in now on the far sidelines by Tiana Brooks. Errantly taken by Barnstable defender Maria Del Pico. Good effort to get in there. And she took a body by Izzy Woods, who is showing herself to be an aggressive defender. And nice play to step up there. Lara Andretti defensively as it's back on the foot of Lauren Lee for Barnstable. Ari Silvia looking up the field, getting it back off a deflection. Has Montron up the far side, Caruso in the middle. Chooses to go to Yasmina Teixeira out wide, who touches inside and is unable to control the ball past that as Maggie's, Maggie Murphy with the right arm, leveled Tiana Brooks there. Not sure that was intentional, but nonetheless, the referee, Roger Stone, on the far side, thought that that was a bit aggressive of a play. And there'll be a free kick right about the 41-yard line. Ariana Almeida getting it in deep for the boxers. Megan Mulholland looking around for it. Letting the ball go through her legs. Looking to the middle for Caruso and able to get it there. Ari Silvia. With a nice play, able to tap it over to Mulholland on the near sidelines. And she gets it farther down the field as Sylvia and Caruso, the two captains, close in on her. And Shea McCurdy simply kicks it out of bounds. And we have a substitution here for the boxers. Coming on is Nadia Cordoso. Coming off, Lara Andretti. Coming off is Molly Tilton for the... Barnstable Lady Red Raiders as it's in the middle of the field with Del Pico. A little turnaround shot and goes a good 10 to 12 yards wide of the goalkeeper there. And it will be a goal kick for the Lady Red Raiders. 31 minutes left in the second half here. Still nothing, nothing. As the goal kick is a good one. Uh, yet Maggie Murphy finds a way to deflect it to the far sidelines and it will now be thrown in by Yasmina Teixeira looking for Narita Montrand on the far sidelines. And takes a nice little touch there. And there was a little bit too much body contact without playing the ball. So that's gonna be a free kick for the Lady Boxers as Caruso goes over to coach her. Narita Montrand's looking for a specific pattern to run for Caruso and it's curving towards the middle. And that was a good looking play and Megan Mulholland from the backside with a little distraction by Caruso and Ari Sylvia. Megan Mulholland almost got to the back post there and got her foot on it. But it deflected just wide of the keeper Mia Crawley there defensively Morgan Richard as usual and Shea McCurdy for the Barnstable Lady Red Raiders. 30 minutes remain in the second half. Kicked up the field by Richard. As the Red Raiders look to start the offense, Tiana Brooks keeps it deep in the end. Over to Lauren Lee, and now forward it up to Hallie Dennis, who gets it up the field, sprinting after it. Caroline Young, and Elizabeth Buckley just kicks the ball out of bounds. Good pace here for Barnstable. They are returning to the offensive form they showed in the first half, despite scoring no goals. Real, really, that could be said of either team but pushing the pace offensively and not becoming complacent in what they're trying to do as there'll be a free kick on the far side here right about the 15 yard line. Morgan Richard for the Barnstable Lady Red Raiders. Maggie Murphy playing right in front of keeper Tori Viola looking for the header on the shot that goes over and through the goalposts. Boy, a strong kick there by Richard. She has quite a leg but a bit more accuracy was needed on that to find Murphy in front and get it past freshman sensation Tori Viola. 
Back deep for the boxers to kick it off is Tiana Brooks. Brooks looking up the field, Maggie Murphy, guarded by Elizabeth Buckley. Haunting in the front, Esmina Teixeira over to Ari Silvia, turns and looks up the field, Narita Montron, good D there by Hallie Dennis, stepping up in front of the pass, over to her teammate, Caroline Young. Coming back is Del Pico defensively for the Lady Boxers, steals the ball, Ari Silvia gets it taken away from her. Caitlin Auer there, but unable to corral it. Good play by Ari Sylvia to keep the ball in the end. Shay McCurdy booting it up the near side. Caitlin Auer there yet again, looking ahead for Maggie Murphy. And coming back for the ball for the boxers is Narita Montrand. Turns with it, running towards the inside. Looking for a lane, nice lead pass to Ari Sylvia, who stops on a dime, gets to a bench, which is interesting. Their team has taken quite a lackadaisical approach to this game in terms of their spirit, a very relaxed energy about the team, and that exudes from their coach, Lee Doherty, who, if my accent detection software is correct, he is Australian, I believe. I didn't have a chance to ask him pregame. The team arrived a bit late and just wanted to make sure we got a roster from him as Mulholland looks to the middle of the field. Caruso taking a touch. Streaking up the middle, looking for her options. Swarmed by three defenders, gets by them all. Gets a nice shot off up the middle of the field. Credit Mia Crawley. That was an incredible move by Caruso, splitting three defenders right up the middle of the field. Leapt over the third one as the ball trickled by them. And Mia Crawley was well prepared for Caruso's boot. As the ball's back down the field here. Elizabeth Buckley gets it up to Del Pico with Maggie Murphy defensively in front of her. And Murphy doing a good job of staying in front of the ball the whole way, so it will now be a throw-in for Yasmina Teixeira. Gets it up to Narita Montron, Del Pico there as well. Montron comes through with it, touch pass to Sylvia, back to Montron, looking in the middle for Caruso, just missed her, but there's Ari Sylvia. Good hustle there, but the ball deflects away from her, and Shea McCurdy is able to boot it back up the field. Cardoso controls around the 40-yard line. Caitlin Auer nearly had a run in it, but it deflected off her, and Cardoso will Throw the ball back onto the pitch for the Brockton Boxers as Ariana Almeida with a touch pass to Sylvia. Running up the near sidelines is Mulholland. Gets it back on a deflection. Nice inside out move. Looking down for Caruso. Caruso with the deflection and takes a shot off the outside of her right foot that keeps turning right and did not present too much of an issue for Mia Crawley. as there will be a goal kick here, Shard running up, and we, in fact, will have a timeout. And this is gonna be a timeout for Barnstables. Brockton took theirs in the first half, and the players are getting some water, and Edmir De Silva, quite animated as always, talking to Nadia Cordosa. He's got to be happy with the play of his team thus far, but offensively, they need a bit more polish. 25 minutes remaining here in the half. You would like to see the boxers become a little bit more aggressive on the offensive end and try and get at least one goal here and sneak off their home turf with the win this evening. Barnstable already having beat the boxers early in the season. The boxers looking for a bit of revenge. This game has been a little chippier than usual, but with the physical boxers team, it is to be expected, give Barnstable credit for matching the physical intensity that Brockton has brought to the field tonight. And also, though I don't usually say this, give credit to the referees for allowing the girls to play. It's been a physical game. There have been very few free kicks, which ones there have been, were very clearly warranted. And otherwise, there's been some physical play this evening and the refs have let them play, so we will give credit where credit is due, and Joe got it, and Roger Stone are going, doing a good job of keeping this game under control, but not allowing the physicality of the sport to be lost. As you see, Admir De Silva taking a little extra time with Caruso and Montrand, who have been trying to figure out the offensive sets all night. They've both been making nice runs, and they've both been looking for each other. You saw Montrand trying to get Caruso to run a curl pattern on the free kick, which very nearly 
resulted in a goal for the boxers, but Megan Mulholland's tip by the near post for us uh, just went wide and unfortunately did not end up in the back of the net for the Broxers. Here we go, Morgan Richard now with the goal kick, under 25 minutes remaining in the second half. Up to number four, Caroline Young, who watches a ball go over her head, Tiana Brooks boots it out of bounds and there'll be a throw in for Barnes on the far side. As good job by Tiana Brooks there to get back. Streaking behind her was the pesky Caroline Young, but unable to get the ball. As a good defensive effort there by Tiana Brooks and the ball is booted back up the field. And it goes off a Barnstable defender and there to throw it in on the far sidelines is Tiana Brooks. She's going to throw it in here right about the 45 yard line. Gives it a good throw running up defensively is Barnstable but able to control it. Narita Montrand over to Ariane Almeida by way of Ari Silvia. And Narita Montron down the near sideline. Shea McCurdy, who's been an aggressive defender all day. Nice play there. Sort of came at Narita Montron looking wild and maybe distracted her as Jamari Johnson just checked into the game for the Brockton Boxers. And number 11 will set up in the middle of the field here as Caruso crosses over her path down the near side. Corralled, corralled by Caruso. And looking to Narita Montron, who takes a touchdown towards the goal line. Back to Caruso. Over to Montron again, playing the two-man game. And Narita Montron made a nice move there, unable to get up. Looking around for a foul, and there was not one to be. Again, letting them play. So there's a nice kick up the sidelines here by Barnstable. Good job by Buckley to stand up and kick that out of bounds as Caroline Young nearly took that ball down the near sidelines and would have approached Tori Viola with quite some speed and certainly with goal scoring intent as the ball is now thrown in and the boxers are back with it as Ariana Almeida is there to throw it in on the near sidelines. Looking for Montrand in the way is Caroline Auer, Caitlin Auer, excuse me. Back to Elizabeth Buckley. Buckley boots it up the field, Auer there. Del Pico now intercepts towards the near sidelines. Looking up for Caruso, has her, plays it off her chest, turning around, has Jamari Johnson and Narita Montrand near. Nice little over and out by Caruso. And good job by Richard to stay there. She's been in front of Caruso all night doing a good job in not letting number 22 get any space. As that was not a handball, apparently. Although it looked like one. Ball kicked out. Del Pico's got it in the middle of the field. Takes a shot and doesn't get much on it. Mia Crawley with the easy save. Crawley looking to boot it out. 22 minutes remain here in the second half. Boxers zero, Barnstable zero. And Barnstable threatening a bit on this side. Caitlin Auer making an aggressive run, shielded off the ball by Ari Sylvia. Going back to Elizabeth Buckley, who safely kicks it up and out. Trickle at about the 48-yard line. And the boxers are continuing to push, but Barnstable is pushing right back. Every time there appears to be a run or a shot for the boxers, Barnstable mirrors them and comes right back with a Nice offensive play of their own. And Admir Da Silva now telling his winger, Yasmina Teixeira on the far side about the 30 yard lines to widen out. I think that is a smart play. I believe the Lady Boxers have been a little too packed in here this evening. And as I've said before, I think spreading the defense out would do wonders for them, especially with the speed that Caruso and Montrand and Yasmina Teixeira have to the outside they would be able to use that speed more effectively towards the goal. Ariana Almeida, Caitlin Auer there defensively. Montrand, with Auer trying to get in front of her, looking towards the middle. Morgan Richard's there. Jamari Johnson almost able to get to him. But Mia Crawley, she, she must have eaten carrots when she was younger because she has great eyesight, seeing this ball incredibly well, and able to slide in, step up, avoid the contact, and get down on that ball. Nice aggressive play by her as Barnstable's back in the middle of the field. And there is Olivia Salos. Elizabeth Buckley boots it up the field. Yasmina Teixeira has a lane on the outside. Chasing after her is Hallie Dennis. Teixeira gets around her, looks to the middle. Jamari Johnson takes a touch. 
and Shea McCurdy is just able to poke it out of the reach of Jen Caruso, who could have turned and had a nice little lane towards the goal had she been able to corral it. Credit McCurdy with good defense there as she's back on the ball again. And Caruso getting in there aggressively, and it will go out for a goal kick as Barnstable was trying to let it trickle out of bounds, to which it did. Just under 20 minutes here remaining in the second half. Still nothing, nothing. Morgan Richard with a goal kick up the field. Ari Sylvia able to corral it. Yasmina Teixeira lets the ball go past her after trying to play it with a leg. And really smart play there by Hallie Dennis to kick it off of Teixeira's legs before it was able to do anything. She throws it in, and it is kicked out of bounds by a player on the far sidelines. It appeared to be Allison Carter. Just in the game for Barnstable. And it was not Carter, it was Caroline Young up on the far sidelines, who now plays the ball yet again, swarmed under by Brockton defenders. Narita Montron comes away with it, looking back to Ari Sylvia. Always a presence in the middle of the field, controlling the ball. Ariana Almeida up to Caruso. Caruso takes it down the far sidelines with a nice move, looks inside to Montron, looking for a little give and go. Montron decides to turn and take the shot. May not have been advised, but the ball trickles over to Caruso now on the far sidelines, looks to cross it. And getting it out of harm's way was the defender in the middle for Barnstable. And Caruso's back on the ball about the 20 yard line. Ari Sylvia looking in, trying to cross it. Has Jamari Johnson, takes a touch. Will she get a shot off outside? And Mia Crawley taking a couple steps towards it. And it went past the post on the near side here. And no trouble for Barnstable. As there's 18 minutes left here in the second half. Time slowly ticking away. Morgan Richard with a good kick up to Caroline Young. There defensively is Tiana Brooks. Able to stop the ball and go back around to get it as Caroline Young getting in there aggressively and falls down. And they're going to rule on the far side here that it is Barnstable ball. And some discussion as to where the throw in should be. And it will be a free kick. Apparently the push on the far side was a little bit too aggressive for the referee's liking. And Richard with that leg will boot it in. Kick down towards the keep over Buckley's head, but no problem. Now Megan Holland on the far side up to Narita Montrand. Has Caruso open on the wing up here. Defense closing in. Caruso gets around her. Takes the ball up the middle of the field. Good pace here. Nice pass to Montrand. Back to Caruso. And good looking play as Caruso saves it, gets it over to Ari Sylvia, now down to Jamari Johnson. What can Johnson do with it? Turns after a bit of contact, gets it towards the middle towards Caruso, and tipped out of harm's way there by number seven, Angela McLeod. Will be a throw in for Brockton, about the 20 yard line into Ari Sylvia, back to Almeida. Almeida trying to get it up, it goes off Shane McCurdy's back. And it will be a goal kick as Caruso, excuse me, corner kick is what the ruling will be. And Caruso gets the ball just under 17, correction, 16 and a half minutes remaining in the second half. Jen Caruso placing the ball exactly as she wants it in the corner, taking a few steps back. Number 22 waits. Looks for the play to develop. Slight movement by Jamari Johnson towards the front. Good ball in the middle. And good effort there by Mia Crawley. Getting towards the ball, not allowing any lady boxers to get their heads on it. And she will boot it out for the Lady Red Raiders. Two very good goalies in this game, as we are not surprised. The score is 0-0 with 24 minutes gone in the second half. Some good opportunities by each team. Nothing has materialized of it. And Ed Mir de Silva is talking to his star, Jen Caruso, down here on the near sidelines. As the ball will be booted up by Ariana Almeida. Narita Montron traps it. Caruso getting back in the play. Montron turns and looks for it. Takes a shot, blocked by Morgan Richard. Always in the middle. Now Caroline Young up the far side. She's got Jordan Cook, excuse me, she's got Olivia Salos. And not sure what Olivia Young 
Well, it's trying to do that, perhaps trying to cross it and didn't get the actual crossing movement on her shot that she needed as in for the Lady Red Raiders is Maggie Murphy and out is Caitlin Hour. As she gets a high five from her coach, Lee Doherty. Under 15 minutes remaining in the second half. Doherty pointing out instructions to his team as Ariana Almeida gets it up to Ari Silvia. Over to Narita Montron, looking for Jen Caruso. Good backtracking defense there by Margot Rice. Montron back on the ball, nice little ball and a string move. Looking for Jamari Johnson in the middle, has her! And the ball is deflected wide as she throws her hands up in the air, much to the dismay of the crowd here at Marciano Stadium. What a look there from Narita Montron. Sorry Jamari Johnson had a step, but was not offsides running up the middle of the field. And the touch she put on it, I thought was deflected off Mia Crawley, the keeper, but apparently I am incorrect about that. And it simply was deflected wide by number 11. Elizabeth Buckley boots it back up the field. Narita Montron kicking the ball over her head with a little rainbow move. Nice skill set there. And shielding the goalie was Morgan Richard. And Mia Crawley has it. Looking at the field as the Red Raiders trickle back. Brockton marking them defensively. Kicks it right to Ariana Almeida, who's unable to trap it. It bounces off towards the middle of the field. And looking for a run is Caroline Young. She's going to get in behind Tiana Brooks here. And good play by Elizabeth Buckley to step up the ball. Deflects over to freshman keep Tori Viola. And she will have a goal kick. Booting it up wide open here at the 40-yard line. Ari Silvia looking for Caruso up the far sidelines with a defender right in front of her. Gets the ball there anyway. Caruso turning one-on-one. -on -one. Shea McCurdy working towards the middle of the field. Morgan Richard there. Nice crossover move. Jen Caruso with a shot off her left foot. I believe that's her weak foot. And not too much trouble for Mia Crowley, though. Good run by Caruso. Brockton starting to find a few more lanes here. Pretty sure that's because they are spreading the field out a little bit as Ariana Almeida with an aggressive play there on Caroline Young, who's a little bit slow to get up, laboring a bit. Narita Montron, nice little move there. Good defense. Yep, and she is clearly held up, and that was a good call there on the near sidelines by Joe Goddard. It's going to be a free kick here as there was a hold by the Barnstable player. And Ariana Almeida will take the free kick for the boxers, looking to cross it into the middle of the field in front of Barnstable keeper Mia Crowley. The Lady Red Raiders doing a good job here of containing Jen Caruso, the star scorer for the Brockton Boxers. As the ball gets in the middle here, Jamari Johnson, and she nearly trickles it past the keeper with a diving save. Mia Crawley through traffic, able to see that ball. Boy, she has made some incredible laying out, diving plays this evening to keep the boxers off the scoreboard, but they continue to press just under 12 minutes remaining in the second half. And there'll be a throw in on the far sidelines for the boxers. Credited Mir De Silva and the team for altering the strategy slightly and widening the wings offensively so as to create better lanes for girls like Jen Caruso and Arita Montron to work with. That has done well for them as Elizabeth Buckley kicks it out on the far sidelines in front of a streaking Caroline Young. Quick throw in here for Barnstable. No one in the middle of the field for the boxers or for Barnstable. As we're going to have some subs here, Janae Silva is going to come on for the Brockton boxers and checking in for the first time. Freshman defenseman, Natty Brennan for Barnstable. And on the far sidelines, letting it go out of bounds is Hallie Dennis. Throws it back in. Caroline Young stepped in front of by Tiana Brooks. Narita Montron looking for the ball. Tiana Brooks back on it, up the field to Jamari Johnson. And the ball being booted around a little bit here as both teams tried to find their rhythm again offensively after what was a very exciting pace for the last six or seven minutes. Running down 10 and a half remaining here in the second half. And on the far sidelines, we will have a throw in for Barnstable. Over there, excuse me, free kick. Morgan Richard will be the one to inbound it. 
Free kick sailing down. A lot of Brockton defenders there. Ari Sylvia able to get her head on it. Mulholland, nice job shielding the defender off there over to Narita Montron. Playing a lead pass for Ariane Almeida, who tries to find Jen Caruso. Good job stepping up by Almeida. And going after the ball was Caruso, but uh, quite a bit out of her reach. And now we'll have a throw in here for Barnstable. As coming off the field is Shea McCurdy. Lee Doherty giving her a bit of advice, letting her know exactly perhaps the reason why he's taking her off or what she could have done better. More than likely congratulating her on the excellent defensive job she has done on the Wonder Woman, Jen Caruso. Nine and a half left in the second half. Ari Sylvia with a touch to Jamari Johnson. And just out of the reach of Jen Caruso streaking down. Admir De Silva looking up to the sky in dismay as there have been quite a few chances here for the boxers this evening and they have yet to capitalize on them. And out on the far sidelines there is Yasmina Teixeira being unmarked. And Narita Montrand able to get the ball. Ariana Almeida crossing it towards the middle. Jamari Johnson with Janae Silva there. We kick, and it is taken away by Hallie Dennis. Runs up the far sidelines, and Tiana Brooks is there defensively to stop her progress. The ball trickles out of bounds. 8.30 remaining in the second half. And Barnstable will have to come back a bit to throw that ball in. That was Hallie Dennis throwing it into Maggie Murphy. Kicked up to Ariana Almeida. And Narita Montron, nice back heel pass to Ari Sylvia, who boots it just a bit far out of the reach of Narita Montron. Coming through defensively, number eight, Izzy Woods. And Montron takes the ball away from her, streaking towards the middle. Good back tap there by Izzy Woods. Got back in the play after being beat. Was able to tap the ball away from Narita Montron as the Barnstable Red Raiders, and there's a Charlie horse for, I believe it was Car Caitlin Hour. And Elizabeth Buckley gets tangled up down here with Caroline Young. And the ball will be booted back down as Jen Caruso looking for an Arita Montron now on the steal. Has Caruso in the middle, kicking it just a bit too far out of the reach. That was a handball that was clearly missed by the officials. Admir De Silva, of course, did not miss that call and was trying to signal to the referee. And unlucky, unsuccessful, I should say, attempt at that. Narita Montron, nice rainbow ball over the defender on the near sidelines. Swarmed under by three, still has the ball, turns towards the middle. Has Maria Del Pico taking a touch towards the right and takes a shot off the right side of the goal. Kind of like the effort on these shots if you're Admir De Silva, but he keeps pushing them closer and closer to the net with his hand, telling them to get in. Just under seven minutes remain in the second half. Morgan Richard kicking the ball up for Barnstable. Maggie Murphy there, as is Caroline Young. Back to Murphy, looking up the field, and good defense there by Ariana Almeida to stop the cross from going through. Shanae Silva now on the far sidelines. Hopefully Maggie Murphy's all right, because she just got her ankles broken by Shanae Silva. And now they're trying to signal to the referees to stop the game because we have an injured player on the field and that is Maggie Murphy. We hope she's all right. After a tremendous move by Tiana Brooks, got her sort of crossed up and she slowly rises up to her feet. Now the coach Lee Doherty is over there checking in on her. And the Brockton coaching staff will take some time to have a short huddle with the players. And Murphy must have rolled an ankle or something pretty badly because she is having a lot of difficulty getting off the field on her own. And now teammates Caitlin Auer and Aislinn Hempstead will come help her off the field. Aislinn Hempstead is going to stay in the game 
in place of the injured Maggie Murphy, who appears to be walking a little bit better to the sidelines now, not under her own power by any stretch, but with the help of her coach. And they seem to be having a little laugh about it, so hopefully, hopefully she's not in too much pain. Boy, if you're a player, you'd really like to play for a guy like, like Lee Doherty. Just uh, always has a smile on his face, really, you know, unfazed by the situation. Now joking around with the referees and perhaps the other coach. But they've made the substitution here in Aislinn Hampstead. Now on as Ari Sylvia looking for Narita Montron, taking a touch towards the middle, has the ball in a string, turns around. Boy, that shot was a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be, but sails over the top right corner the near corner for a goal. Three, four minutes and 30 seconds remain in the second half. As time is dwindling down here for both teams to get a score, we are heading towards a tie currently. It would be the third tie of the season for the boxers and the second on the season for the Barnstable Lady Red Raiders. And Narita Montrand turns over to Almeida. Almeida looking for Caruso in the middle of the field, but unable to get there as the ball was out of her reach. And yet again, Morgan Richard for the Red Raiders will boot it away. Under four minutes remain in the second half. It's Montrand gets the ball off to Sylvia and it was Stolen, and there's going to be a foul by Ariana Almeida on Molly Tilton, who is back in the game for the Red Raiders. Looking to boot the ball up is Morgan Richard. And a very defensive-minded formation here for Barnstables. They look, they look very happy to just come away from this game with a tie. As there's a ball in behind Elizabeth Buckley, Trying to outrun her is Caroline Young. And they're gonna call a foul on Young who despite not extending her arms, pushed Buckley to the ground. And Elizabeth Buckley now holding her nose. Perhaps she got banged, but she appears to be okay. And she's gonna stay in the game despite the concern of her teammate Ariana Almeida. The aforementioned boots it up the field. And Jamari Johnson turns with it through the legs of Caroline Young over to Yasmina Teixeira running down the far sidelines. Good speed, looking for a cross. Decides to take it herself and nearly does just that, if not for a good play to boot the ball out on the far sidelines by Angela McLeod, the senior defenseman for the Red Raiders. As there will be a throw in on the far side and Lara Antretti is there for the boxers. Gets it in, deflected off. Ari Sylvia, and she's got a goal! What a tremendous shot. Just under two minutes remaining in this game. That's a one nothing lead for the boxers. Captain Ari Sylvia with a laser into the top left corner, and there was absolutely no doubt about that one. Mia Crawley didn't have a chance. The ball deflected into the middle of the field. Sylvia was able to take a quick touch and with the ball slightly elevated off the turf, booted that into the top left corner for an absolute snipe and a one nothing lead for the boxers very, very late in this game. 122 remaining in the second half and a late goal by Ari Sylvia has put the lady boxers ahead and Barnstable now looks to regroup with not very much time remaining to tie this game. And Tiana Brooks boots it up the field for the Lady Boxers. Tremendous shot by Ari Sylvia when it seemed that a tie was inevitable. She comes through in the clutch after Brockton has struggled to score all night, but credit the widened lanes on offense of these Lady Boxers and the coaching of Edmir De Silva as Caruso turns with the ball, makes a move, gets outside one defender, Morgan Richard bumping her off, good speed there by the senior defender, and Caruso's gonna have a throw in on the near sidelines as time is being kept on the field. We are almost out of it in this game, and the ball is inbounded to Narita Montrand, 
Jen Caruso with a nice move, looking towards the middle of the field. You know the Lady Boxers have been ignited by Ari Sylvia's rocket of a shot. And now nice, nice pullback move by Caruso as she looks for Tiana Brooks streaking up from defense. And now Barnesville may have a little run, but Shanae Silva, good job to step up there. Get them out of trouble. Tiana Brooks now pushing the ball defensively. Finds Caruso, has Montron on the outside. Jamari Johnson in the middle. And Morgan Richard able to steal the ball and play it out as Ari deflects off Ari Sylvia. Good steal at midfield there as the Barnstable offense would have had a two-on-two -two break with a nice bit of room. Jen Caruso with a shot, and she puts one in, too! Two for the Brockton Boxes in the last two minutes of the game. Jen Caruso with her 18th goal of the season. Good for her 20th point. What a shot and two absolute rockets by the two captains. That is how you lead by example if you are Jen Caruso and Ari Sylvia. Way to power the team in the last two minutes. And the Lady Boxers take a 2-0 lead here very late in this game as the scoreboard has officially been updated here. And time is ticking down, probably about 25 seconds left as there's a run for the Barnstable player. Aislinn Hempstead coming on for the injured Maggie Murphy. And boy, if you're Barnstable, you gotta be crushed at this result. You have let a clear tie slip through your fingers in what amounts to stoppage time here in this game. And looming large is another loss for the Lady Red Raiders. Quick corner here for Barnstable as they get the ball in, curving towards the middle, and Tori Viola is able to raise up and get her hands on the ball, much to the dismay of Aislinn Hempstead, who was charging valiantly towards the keeper. And nice kick there up the field. Aislinn Hempstead sort of standing in the way, and Viola says, I don't care, and kicks it right past her. I'd like to see that from your freshman goalkeeper as it's up the field for Yasmina Teixeira. Brockton still looking hungry here. Good defense by Barnstable, but Brockton continuing to push the pace these last few minutes of the game as there's a nice turn by Jamari Johnson and a good look by Yasmina Teixeira as she's hustling up towards Angela McLeod and was actually able to get a foot on it, but it goes off of Teixeira and out of bounds. What a turn of events here in this game two minutes left and all of a sudden the offense starts pouring it on for Brockton High. A quick goal from Ari Sylvia and that will do it folks. An incredible 2-0 victory as a tie was almost forthcoming in this game and not to be denied were the two senior captains from the Brockton Boxers. First Ari Sylvia with a rocket in the top left. And then from just a shade outside of that original goal, Jen Caruso on the opposite side of the field is able to blast one in the top right corner and give the Brockton Boxers a two nothing lead. Your Lady Boxers move to five, two and two on the year and Barnstable drops to one, five and two. The Boxers will continue next week on Tuesday in their non-league schedule and then in a few weeks time, they will be back to big three action as the ladies come to the near sidelines, congratulated by their coaches as they line up for the handshake. Sour taste in the mouth of Barnstable, undoubtedly, and a very sweet one in that of the Brockton High Lady Boxers with a beautiful 2-0 victory on two well-earned goals. And if you're at Mir De Silva, let the good times roll. Brockton continues to win. They continue to look strong, even when hope is lost. They've come out early and scored goals in previous games, and now they're able to do it in the late stages here. And no matter what the score may be for the time, the Brockton ladies have been able to score goals in a very timely fashion. And that will just about do it for us here. I am Eamon Convey for the rest of the crew at BCA Sports. Thank you very much, folks, and have a good one.